vlogging everyone. Today I am here with three new super granulation watercolor sets from Schmincke. I was really excited about these, especially the Volcano set, because the Volcano set has a couple of colors that have that had not been previously released. Because um, the majority of these are mixed from existing colors in the Schmincke watercolor line but they've released a couple of new single pigment colors as part of the Volcano collection, so super exciting. Um, so I've already put the tube watercolor into these half pans here, and I'll show you how I have arranged them here in a minute. But uh, I only got the five milliliter tubes, um, mostly because I just wanted to try each of them out, and this is how they come uh, in little boxes like this. I got mine from um, St. Louis Art Supply because I couldn't couldn't wait for them to come to Jackson's, but then like right after I ordered them, they were on Jackson's and they're a little less expensive even with shipping at Jackson's. So I'm gonna put the link there. I do have an affiliate link for Jackson's. It's no additional cost to you, but I get a little bit of a percentage whenever you buy from there. Um, and they are cheaper. I. Um, these were about, mm, was it five to $10 more per set than they were on Jackson's because they're having a sale. So um, let's see, where should we go? So let me go ahead and show you how I have these arranged and then I'm going to swatch these for you. So I've already shown this pa uh, palette on the channel before. So this is all of the previous sets of the super granulation sets <laughs> from Schmincke. And um, I had two extra spots here and I was trying to figure out how to arrange it because these come in sets of five colors. So what I decided to do was to put the two single pigment volcano colors here. So, um, and, and this is also because this could be its own palette. There are not a lot of reds and yellows, in fact, there's really not any <laughs> reds or yellows in here. So by having these single pigments uh, colors, that, then that'll add to this set. And then I put the rest of the sets in this little, um, this little tiny watercolor palette that I got from Case for Making. So it was still off by the numbers. So I've also put a limited edition color in here. This is the ice blue which originally I thought, oh, I have no use for this. It's not gonna be a good color for me, but uh, I've actually been using it quite a bit and kind of mixing it as it was a white with other colors and it, and it really does do some interesting things. So I'm not gonna be swatching that one today, however. I'm just gonna be swatching the super granulating sets. So I'll be swatching these two and then going on to the rest of the volcano sets. Uh, set and then the desert set and the Shire set, which are the three new sets, Volcano, Desert, and Shire. The desert and Shire have a lot of green colors again, um, but the Volcano set is a little bit more interesting. And also before I start, because I don't want to go into great detail into the single pigments when I'm swatching, so these two, I'll open this up because I'll have to reference this anyway. So we have a yellow and a red that are new single pigments. Um, I think that this red, so this is Volcano Red and Volcano Yellow. Um, the, the yellow is not available in any other form from them. This is PY159 and it's a granulating yellow, which is a little bit unusual. Most yellows are not granulating. Um, so they created, well, I mean, it's available, <laughs> but not a lot of brands offer it. So they, they added this uh, granulating yellow and then this red is very granulating as well. And it's also a single pigment and it is PR108. I think that there is a less granulating version of this. I'm, I'm not sure if it's from Schmincke, but, but other brands also have it, but they just adjusted the formula, I believe, to make this more granulating. But it's really nice that these are um, single pigments. If I were to buy uh, new tubes, of these when I run out or, or you know, to have larger tubes of certain colors, these two are probably the ones I would get just because uh, you can mix pretty much all of the colors in the Volcano set with these, as long as you have the other colors, obviously. You're, you're always going with at least two colors for these um, and the rest of the Desert and Shire set. I think 
Desert and Shire also have these colors in them. At least the Desert does. I'll see. I'll, I'll tell you what the pigments are when we go through each color. So um, I'm going to leave these in the boxes for now, but I'm going to open them up so that I can reference them because I don't have a little swatch sheet created for these yet. These have been, I basically just poured these into the pans and they've been sitting since yesterday. Um, but they should be dry enough to go ahead and start with that. So let's go ahead and start with this. And I have my my Pentallic field book off to the side here that I use for my watercolor swatches. I'll also probably add the red and the yellow here on this swatch sheet. I don't have one created yet for the little palette, but I will at some point, but I'm not gonna do that today on the video. So let me see, I'm gonna try and get in here a little bit so that we can get a pretty decent view. And I'm going to be using my um, Rhapsody Sable brush that I got at Jerry's Artorama at a huge sale. But since I got it, they're even on sale, their prices have gone pretty high up for these brushes. So I'm not really going to be putting a link to these brushes anymore because I feel like you can get other brushes um, at a decent price. But if you want to know which one it is, it is the Jerry's Artorama uh, Rhapsody brush. Okay, oh, I also have a little water off to the side. Oh, and what I should do is put a little dollop of water on each of these just to moisten them up. Um, that way we can get a really good representation of the color. That'll just take a second here to do that. I probably should have done that before I started filming, but you know how it goes. Okay, so let's just add a little drop. You could also spray these with a spray bottle I don't like to have a spray bottle at my desk where I do my filming because I have a leather pad here. All right, so let's start. Um, I'm actually gonna go in reverse order. I'm gonna start with the yellow here. Uh, one minor complaint about this yellow is it was kind of separated in the, um, in the tube. So I had to mix it with a little uh, toothpick to get it to mix together pretty well. And it seems to be having a little bit of a hard time rewetting. So let's see. Okay. There we go. So that is the Volcano Yellow. And I'll put this closer up to the camera at the end so that you can see the granulation there. This one also seems to have a little bit of trouble rewetting, but not as much. And this is a really deep red. This is Volcano Red. Okay. But you can kind of already see the granulation on that one happening. Okay, and since we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and put that one on my little swatch sheet here. But yes, the uh, super granulating sets were definitely missing red and yellow. So these are a good addition. And just from looking at the other colors I don't I don't think that you know everyone needs to get every color in this collection because there are a lot of similar colors okay I'll leave that there all right so let's move on to the rest of the colors here and I already gave you the pigment information on those move that palette out of the way so that we can focus on this one so the next one is Volcano Orange, which is, actually put on my different glasses so that I can see or just take this off. This is PY159 and PR108. So that is just a combination of these two colors here. So. So 
So I definitely think that this one is one, if you weren't getting the set, you could probably leave this one off just because you can easily get it mixed with these two here. Okay, and then the next one is uh, Volcano Violet, which is PV62 and PR108. So it's this red and PV52, which I'm not sure which color that is, but probably be easy enough to find out. That's lovely. That's really lovely, actually. And remember, I will put these up to the camera at the end so that you can see them all. Okay, and then the next one is Volcano Brown, which is PR108, again, the red, and PBK11. So I expect this one to be pretty granulating because PBK11 is a very granulating black. Yes. Well, that's lovely. I like that. I tend to like these really dark colors. And you can definitely see some of that red coming out there. Really, really cool. Um, yeah, lots of fun there. And I'll put that up to the camera again towards the end. So those are all the volcano. We're now gonna move on to the uh, desert set. So the first one in that set is Desert Yellow, which is PY159 and PBR7. Is that one this one? 159? Yes. So that's the Volcano Yellow and PBR7, which is an earth color. Brown. And these were all much more firm in the tubes the uh, Volcano set seemed to be a little bit lighter in the tubes, or um, less thick, with a little more binder. Okay. Desert Yellow. The next one is Desert Orange, which is again that PY159 and PBR33. And you are getting a little bit of a glare here, but just remember, I am going to put it up to the camera so that you can see it without the glare towards the end. All right, and the next color we have is Desert Brown, which is PY159, that volcano yellow again, PR108, which is that volcano red, and then PBK11. So it's basically this, this, and a granulating black. Really nice. All right, next we have Desert Green. This one looked really cool um, in the swatches, so I'm excited to see this one. It's PR108, which is again that uh, Volcano Red, and PG26. So you can see if you have a, a pretty good collection of colors already, of granulating uh, single pigment colors from Schmincke already, you could add the Volcano Red and the Volcano Yellow, and you can make a lot of these combinations. Okay, so the next one is Desert Gray, which is PY159, same yellow again, and PBK11. Okay, so just those two. Yeah, and PBK11, if you're looking for granulating colors, uh, that would be one of my first go-tos <laughs> because um, you can make so many fun granulating colors with that, assuming you like darker colors. Yeah, that one is, that red one, that green, or I should say it's labeled a green, but it's really cool looking, I think. Okay. So let's go on to the last five tube set, which is the Shire set. And the first one here is uh, Shire Yellow, which is PY159, so again, that Volcano Yellow, and PV62. Okay. Okay. 
So yes, this, the volcano colors are across these sets here. And you're really only able to get this lighter green granulation because of that granulating yellow over there. Okay, the next one is Shire Olive, which is PY159 and PB35. So once again, that volcano yellow. It's actually a really pretty green. And granulating greens, I think, would be so great for, um, for any kind of nature scenes, landscapes, etc. Okay, so then the third one here is Shire Green, which is PY159 once again, and PG18. So I would say, you know, none of these are really must haves in your watercolor collection, except for, I would say, the, the new yellow and the new red, volcano yellow and vol volcano red. That does make all of these really nice colors. Okay, the second to the last one here is Shire Blue, which is PY159, volcano yellow. PB29, that's another big granulating pigment. That's ultramarine blue. It's a pretty good one to have in your collection for, for uh, granulating pigments. And PG26, so this is a three pigment mix. Oh, that's lovely. That's really pretty, I like that. All right, and then the last one here is Shire Gray, which is PY159, that volcano yellow, PB74, and PBK11. So it's that PBK11 again. These are all really beautiful colors. They're nice convenience colors. You know, obviously if you like me and are kind of like a collector of watercolor <laughs> you can feel free to get the whole collection but I think this will really help you decide which ones are kind of must-haves and which ones can kind of go by the wayside so that's that volcano yellow you can see now that it's dry hold on a second I am gonna get other glasses it's the danger of getting older your eyes get bad Okay, so with this volcano yellow, you can definitely see the granulation now that that's dry. It seemed very, very light before it dried, and I think it did darken a little bit as it dried. And then here is that volcano red, which is a really beautiful, deep red, which is granulating. And then this was volcano orange, which is simply a combination of these two. This one is Volcano Violet, also another really pretty one. I think that that's fairly similar to some of the earlier, um, so you don't have a very big swatch here, but I think it's fairly similar to Tundra Pink, perhaps. Let's see, that's the only one, at least from the swatch card, that it looks similar to. Yeah, that's probably similar to Tundra Pink. The Tundra Pink is a little more pink, I would say. And then this last one is Volcano Brown. Really pretty, love those. Okay, and then we had the desert set. So we have desert yellow up here, which is just sort of a little bit of a muddier version of this. And um, then we have desert orange, which is this one here. And uh, sorry, I'm looking over to see desert brown, which is really pretty. You can definitely see that granulating yellow. The granulating yellow is really being used a lot in these colors. And then the next one, this one's definitely my favorite of the desert colors. It's the desert green. Really love that red and green going on. And a lot of time, you know, uh, red and green are opposite on opposite ends of the color wheel. So you, you would normally end up with black with red and green. 
but because of the granulation, it is separating and you get to see both, which is, I think, really cool about that color. And this one's really cool. It looks like it's developed some like little lacy texture here. That is the desert gray. That one's really pretty. And you know, that lacy texture obviously might mimic sort of the, um, the ground in the desert, very dry ground. Okay, and then we have the Shire set. So we have Shire Yellow, and then we have Shire Olive, which is interesting. I don't know if I would call that an olive, but I guess it is sort of like a yellowish green. Um, and then we have Shire Green, very pretty. And we have Shire Blue, which I think is my favorite of these. And then Shire Gray. So if you're looking for sort of interesting color combos, I would definitely say the desert green is worth getting. Um, and if you just get these single pigments, volcano red and volcano yellow, you can make a whole bunch of really fun colors, fun granulating colors on your own, just based on whatever you have. You might not be able to recreate these exactly, but you might be able to come up with um, some new color combinations that would be really fun and granulating. Uh, I might I might do some playing with that myself. So there we go. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to give me a like if you enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos on my channel. I hope to see you next time, but in the meantime, have a great day. Thank you so much, bye.